Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen. Now today we're going to be talking about an important topic, towing caravans. So I've got a trusty D-Max and the legends from Gold Coast Caravans have lent me this van here. Now I just want to say this isn't a training video specifically and if you do want to go around the country towing a van, I highly recommend to do a course. But we've got Andrew here from Learn to Tow and he's going to show us the ropes. Alright Andrew, so about to hook up and set up, what are some things you want to make sure of before you leave? Well there's plenty of things. First of all, you'd probably jump in the caravan and you're going to lock everything up, secure it, windows closed, hatches closed, all those kind of things. You'll jump out, you'll walk around the caravan, you'll make sure you've lifted up the stabiliser legs, uh, you've got the wheel chocks that may be there, you've got to disconnect your gas or change the gas over, you've got the electrics, you've got the water, you want to make sure you've all disconnected that. Walk around, you'll hitch up the trailer first of all, uh, so that's the number one thing, make sure you've got that hitched on correctly. You put your chains on, you put the electrics in, you'll go and check the electrics are all um, working so you got your brake lights and blinkers and lights and stuff you got plenty of things down here to check you got your handbrake you got your jockey wheel so you just walk around and make a list it would be a good good example so you get your own list for each caravan because they're all going to be different all right andrew out on the road now on the open road what are we looking for when we're tying a big caravan like this one yeah well you're looking at about another width uh, of one meter on each side of your vehicle yeah and we're towing a, like a 17 foot caravan today so you've got to think like long, yep. how long is this thing and also how wide it is. And I guess you're worried about like there's signs sticking out, there's low-lying trees, um, traffic islands. Yep. So you check your right mirror and see how close you got. I guess a lot of people tend to sit too far right in the lane, wouldn't they? Because driving a car, you want to be close to the, to the uh, away from driveways and stuff. But when you're towing something... Yeah, the majority of people are in the wrong position. So in your left lane, you should always stay to your left anyway. I guess another thing to be aware of is, is braking distance. So is that any different to in a normal car? Around about three to four seconds if you're towing behind someone. Um, that should be, give you sufficient uh, ability to either go around something or stop in time. So, so what are we doing when it comes to braking? Obviously, this particular vehicle does have the ultimate brake upgrade from Bendix on here, so that's something to keep in mind when you uh, you know you're going to be tying heavy things, but what are you looking out for when, when obviously you're hooking up a caravan and also braking technique when you're going, I guess, up and down hills as well? Yeah, well, a lot of caravans, like especially newer, bigger ones, they come with electric brakes, so you're yeah. going to have to get them set. So you want to look for a good electric brake controller. When you're going down a hill, uh, number one thing is you always be in control of the caravan. There's no use that two and a half ton caravan pushing you. Yeah. You've got to be controlling it. So, so you can actually change the, the amount of braking on these electronic brake controllers, isn't that right? So you can essentially have the, the trailer almost slow you down rather than the trailer trying to push you down the hill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to have it on too tight. Like sometimes they might be on too tight and you lock up your tyres and that's uh, no good at all. We've got a bit of a flat thing, so I just let it roll here for a little bit and that's going to cool your brakes down. See, this is trouble with a lot of the standard brake rotors. They actually start to warp when they get too hot. So unless you've got upgraded brakes, sometimes it's better to just stab them, get, get your speed down and then you let the engine pull you back and give the brakes a bit of a rest. But I guess it all depends on the vehicle and what kit you've got in there. All right. Well that's sort of the driving part of the day, like obviously only a caravan, one part is driving but there's a massive segment which is, is parking one I guess. So. Yeah well I, I'd say 90% of people turn up because they're worried about the park that they've got to get into when they get to a caravan park. Yep. And, um, so husband and wife turn up and 90% uh, of the time after the course the wife's the designated reverser <laughs> by the end of it anyway. Is that right? Yeah they seem to have a little bit more patience and um, when we run through a few of the little uh, techniques that we show them they seem to pick it up pretty quick. and. Yep. Um, the roles reverse. All right, so the first little challenge here is the 90 degree reverse park. See how we go. All right, so come up and keep driving and I'll get you to stop when you're level with the back of this, um, the caravan's level with where I am. So you got a fair, fair bit longer to go, length of the caravan. So obviously it's really good to have a second person when doing this. So first of all, you got to get the caravan to go in that way. So do you know which way to steer? Go on left. No, it's right. the opposite. Yeah, so go full lot <laughs> right. Full right. Yeah, and that's gonna make, and. Before you go again, just go half a turn back. Yep. All right, stay about there. And just go back slowly, look in this mirror here. Yep. Just your car mirror, not this uh, good old yep. Malenko towing mirror. Keep your wheels where they are. When you see it, like a jackknife point we previously marked, mm -hmm. just stop the vehicle when you get to that point. So it's going to be level with your tray. You're very precise, young man. <laughs> it's going the right direction. <laughs> yeah, but now what are we going to do? Go turn the other way to yeah. correct it. So yeah, so a lot of way. times at a caravan park, you're going to have some old guys telling you to chase the caravan. Yep, yep. This is when you're chasing it. It's a good idea. I know it wrecks your tyres a bit, but you just kind of stop. Yep. 
Steer it full lock left, then half a turn back. Yep. And then try to follow that jackknife point. So keep it right along the edge of your car. That you can pause for a sec, have a look over your shoulder. It looks like we're going to head where we want to go, which is pretty cool. In the right direction. Yeah. So, so far, so good. Someone marked this out well. Basically, now, if you look over your shoulder, you Let's want see. to just full lock it to your left Let's now. Keep it full lock. Well, that took about all of one minute. That's it. <laughs> he did a good job, That's eh? That's how you park a caravan. There you go. <laughs> so, it took about a minute. He's right on the line. That would be your slab here. So, I'd be sitting here. Could be having a lemonade or a beer. And there's your slab. That's good. That was too easy. All right, guys, so there we have it. A little bit of an overview of this towing caravan course here. I highly recommend if you do go out on your own to do the complete course, because we didn't cover everything in this video, um, definitely check out Andrew from Learn to Tow in Queensland here. There'll be a link in the description below for his details. Yeah, it'd be great to see us. Uh, learn to tow, tow like a pro, that's our motto. Uh, we just have a, a four or three hour course, and it's for you and your partner. It's just one on one, and um, it's cheap insurance to get you traveling safely before you get out and hit the road. Bendix Ultimate Four-Wheel Drive Brake Upgrade Kit will drastically improve the way your four-wheel drive stops. Featuring advanced brake pads and disc rotors, braided lines and required servicing items, the Bendix Ultimate Four-Wheel Drive Upgrade Kit is available from all good automotive retailers. Bendix. Put your foot down with confidence.